You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't re- But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe in Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together, after all. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue! <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados' connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of animal? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh... Uh... uh <laughs> Uh... Huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, there's still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level.
Freeze! Floor's defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. Y you just worry about yourselves. One of the Eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Number eight of the Eleven goes by the name Signora. The fact that the two can run a month across the Seven Nations like they do is entirely because of the Eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. You. How'd you get in here? Never heard of that association before. What are you lot doing here? That lies way too obvious. You really have. And just how do you plan to borrow it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, you're free to go. But I don't have the key, unfortunately. You'll have to ask the next guard you come across. He says the key isn't here. Shall we try another room? Who are you? What are you? <laughs> Did you already beat all the other guards? What? I I'm not scared of you. A debt collector will come to my aid. Fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. <sighs> All right. You're free to go. Uh, I have the key here. You can head in from the hall outside, but don't tell anyone that it was me who gave you the key. scurry out from. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs bards sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. 